What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jojo back with another video and today we're going to be talking about how to flip cards, how to flip the market, how to work the market, how to maximize your profits. You'll hear me say that a lot on this channel, how to maximize your profit margin in minimal time. You know, we want to spend as least amount of time doing the boring stuff, but still making a good amount of stuff so that we can get all the cards that everybody else is getting while still maintaining that no money spent because we just don't want to put money into the game, but we still want to be competitive. Now, the way I'm going to give you may be a little different than some other uh, people who work the market. And so I will reference a few people, good YouTubers who I feel have taught me a few things and I've kind of just added on to it my own way. So I love watching Ant Armstrong. He's a real good person to watch if you want to learn how to flip cards, how to work the uh, market. He is also no money spent and he still has every bit of the, uh, the team that everybody you see on Twitch and on YouTube. He's very good. He dives deep into how to be no money spent and he gives you different ways to be it. Another really good YouTuber is uh, Movie Gaming who really dives deep into the analytical aspect of the market and it's kind of cool to kind of learn about the different things that you may never even think about but with a uh, with movie kind of references to the show zone which is a really good website to use i started using it myself and it kind of gives you the different times that you can kind of jump on the market when profits are at its highest what cards are flipping the fastest so it kind of saves you time in that aspect and that, that's a really good reference point to go to the show zone another good one is gomes who who kind of predicts what's coming out what content's coming out and how to prepare for it which also helps you make stubs because you prepared for that that specific release so i'll kind of tell you the way most people i've, I've seen do it is they will go over here they'll go to their filter they'll go to silvers right live series because mo mainly live series flips pretty quick you'll see some of these have some decent margins right like say this card right here 381 647 it's a little over 200 you put that in 581 that sells it's a 200 that's a 200 stub flip like that's pretty good silvers flip pretty quickly because especially right now packs are 50% off people are going to buy packs you know we're not all no money spent silvers are almost guaranteed and they're not guaranteed but you get a lot of silvers and so they're, they're hitting the market pretty quickly which is why you're buying them the order comes in you're selling them bam done 200 subs that's 200 profit right there me personally I don't like margin that you get in the specific time frame I personally do gold so like Look at Walker Bueller right now at a thousand price difference from buy now to sell now. Perfect example, right? I buy this Walker Bueller, right? And I sell them. That's a 700 price margin flip. I just gained 700 stubs in probably a few minutes. So I'll give you how I do it. I put in that 84. You see it on the filter. Well, I'm blocking it, of course, but you put in 84 on your max overall and you go to live series. And then you come here and pretty much what you're going to do is you want to put in the buy order. I typically look for uh, anything that has about a 500 to 600. That one came in quickly. <laughs> pretty much a 500 to 600 stub difference on the buy now and sell now. And then as I'm buying it, as it, soon as it comes up, like as soon as it comes up on the, you know, your top left corner that you bought the car, I go sell it right away and put in another buy order. And I'll sit here and do this for maybe about an hour sometimes if i'm really bored i'll do it for a little longer um but this is just something cool to do you know in your downtime so you just keep putting them in the market moves a little slower at night uh, which is okay you know if you're if you can do this midday it moves a lot quicker i'm talking to the point where you almost can't see it coming in right so and you'll have people who who try to cut you on the market like by 100 or 200 don't go for that bottom price, right? And what I mean by that is like, say I'm about to sell this Walker Bueller right here and somebody comes in and puts in 2,900, right? Don't minimize your profit margins by doing that. Don't go right under that just to sell it really quick. I promise you by the end of the night, that card will sell, I promise you. So if somebody was to come in and put a 2,900 buy order in, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna just go right under this one, right? 3,193, which is one below that. That's what, and that's what I'm gonna do. 
So don't don't try to just because somebody out there cut in the market, try to follow that thinking you have to. Don't do that. You know, you want as much profit as possible because we want to spend as least amount of time on here as possible. So, you know, you just keep going through here. Just keep doing this. My recommendation is to turn on a Twitch stream. Speaking of Twitch, we stream every Sunday through Thursday. Around 8, 9 p.m. is when we start to pretty late. Link will be in the description. Come vibe with us. It's always a very chill chat. We know we're always just relaxing, playing some VR uh, events. You can chill with us. Um, ask us any questions that you like over there. Uh, so we'll do this for about an hour. I typically do this off stream though. And you know, you'll continue to go through here. You'll find a lot of them are at really good margins right now. And so it's the absolute perfect time to flip cards. You know, if you're sitting there asking yourself, well, how do I get stubs? I don't want to buy stubs, you know, and we can't all go 12 and 0. That's perfectly fine. I can't go 12 and 0. You know, it's not something that's common. If it was, Cards like Billy Wagner wouldn't be a million stubs. He's so rare. There's one buy order for this guy right now. You know what I'm saying? Like Casey Mize is still 720,000. Josh Donaldson, 765,000. There's a reason why these cards are expensive. Not everybody can go 12 and 0. That's okay. World Series is a little more common, but not everybody can make World Series to get those and sell. You know what I'm saying? So flipping cards is a very very great way to get stubs without having to put any money into this game i'm no money spent right i know what you're thinking i have 99,000 stubs i'm not taking flip advice from this guy the reason is i made a prospect team so i can you know kind of have fun and see some players that we haven't seen before that haven't you know or somebody like Luis robert who is taking the league by storm i kind of wanted to make a team with that so i have a lot of stubs built into this team at the moment but as you can see, we're no money spent, and we have every card that everybody else has. If I want any card, I can have them. You know, we have Mickey, we have Trout, we have both of those collections done. We have, like I said, any card. You can do the same thing. I, I don't know how often I have somebody come into my chat on Twitch, and they say, you know, how can I finish the Trout program? I only have 40,000 subs. You know, how can I get Mickey Mantle on four of the big cards away, three of the big cards away? And now it's perfect time because a lot of those cards are falling down in price. So they ask often, how can I obtain those cards? I only have 40,000. My answer is to flip cards. It's the easiest way. I mean, I can literally sit here. If you do it for an hour, I can almost, I can guarantee you 10,000 at the least. You do that seven days a week at an hour, 70,000 a week, right? doesn't seem like much that's 70,000 you weren't ever going to have before if you do and that's at the least that's at the minimum I sometimes make 20 to 30,000 stub profit in an hour especially if I'm doing this around 12 or 1 so when the market's really moving my profits are shooting up so another way some people kind of do this I don't like doing this because I get real lazy doing this and I don't go back through my binder so I end up forgetting but they'll put in buy orders all through here, right? And they'll just keep going down. They'll, they'll set a time, a timer for themselves at like 15 to 20 minutes. And they'll go through and just buy everyone at the margins that they like, right? Keep going through them. Even going into the silvers when you're doing this method, it's okay. You're going through, you're finding every margin you like. Once your timer goes off 15, 20 minutes, you head over here to your inventory and you clear out your binder, right? You go through, figure out all your extras, bam, sell them all, head right back, start flipping again for another 15, 20 minutes. I personally don't like doing that. I, I don't like wasting time. I don't like having to go back and forth. And I know me, I'm gonna get bored of going through my binder and trying to figure out which cards or going through 30 teams to you know find every card that I need to sell right there. I literally will put the buy order in Keep going through, keep going through. The moment I see the buy order flash in the top left corner, bam, go sell it, buy another one, go right back to where I was at. And I will keep doing that. And as long as you keep up, I promise you, you will make really good profits. See, I have some coming in right now. I'm not gonna do it. I'll, I'll have to go through my binder, that's okay. I'll make sure I clear it out. 
but I promise you, <laughs> of course, I promise you that you will make really good profits. You'll be able to obtain trout. You'll be able to obtain mantle, which there are different ways to obtain them, not just flipping. There are other ways to help with that, which I'll be coming out with another video in a couple days on that. But uh, as I've said, join us in our Twitch. If you have any questions, I love talking to chat while playing this game. I still very much love playing this game and I know others do as well. And I wanna help y'all get the cards that you feel everybody else has that you can't get. Trust me, you can get these cards and I wanna make sure that you do have them. So join us on Twitch, link will be in the description, Sunday through Thursday. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section, like, comment, subscribe. If you feel you don't want to ask the question in the uh, comment section, ask me on Twitter, DM me. You know, link, link to my Twitter will be in the description. And have a blessed day. Until next time. Thank you.